リフトオフ。エスアビエイグニシンのリフトオフ。全ての人類のために中ステーションを補給機、この鳥3号機を搭載した、H2B for all mankind, we had a liftoff of the H2B launch vehicle with the Kono 33 on board from the Tanegashima Space Center at 11.06 and 18 seconds in the morning on July 21, 2012, Japan Standard Time. After liftoff, one minute into the flight of the HTV-3, obviously it's in the clouds now, the weather there preventing us from seeing the HTV-3, but we're standing by. The uh, solid rocket booster should burn out at 1 minute 54 seconds. The HTV is now flying over the Pacific Ocean to the southeast with its initial flight angle of 108.5 degrees. The H2B is flying normally, and the Tanegashima stations and Uchinola station are tracking the launch vehicle very well. One minute, 50 seconds into the flight, standing by for confirmation of the SRB burnout. Separation should be shortly thereafter. SRB. SRB burnout confirmed. And there goes the first set of solid rocket boosters. It'll be followed by the second set. Two minutes, 15 seconds into the flight. And the second pairs of SLBAs were jettisoned. Two minutes and uh, 40 seconds into the flight, the next major milestone will be at three minutes and 40 seconds. That is when the fairing that is currently surrounding the HTV-3 up on top of the rocket will be separated. It'll be jettisoned and will fall away. Three minutes after liftoff. The first stage engine combustion, attitude control, and flight trajectory are all normal. The flight goes very smoothly. Currently, altitude is about 100. Velocity is approximately 2.29 kilometers. Payload the fairing is just soon. Fairing separation confirmed. Once again, this is the shroud that surrounded HTV-3 for protection up on top of the rocket. So HTV-3 now exposed as uh, the rocket continues its 15-minute uh, and 11-second flight into space. At 5 minutes and 47 seconds, that is when the first stage engine will cut off. The uh, first stage and second stage will separate just a few seconds after that at 5.54. And then shortly thereafter, right after the 6 minute mark, that is when the second stage engine will ignite. That will burn for pretty much the remainder of the flight up until the 14 minute 20 second mark. 
and that is when that engine will cut off. Here's live telemetry from the Japan Aerospace Exploration Agency as they continue to monitor their rocket as it flies up into space. It's five minutes after liftoff. ロケットは順調に飛行を続けており、現在のコードは約160キロメートル、秒速約4.37キロメートルです。The flight current altitude 160 kilometers. The velocity is approximately 4.37 kilometers per second. Five minutes, 45 seconds into the flight, everything looking good. First stage engine cut off. And we have first stage cut off and separation of the first and second stage. First and second stage is separation. The second stage engine will now ignite. Second stage engine ignition. The visiting vehicle officer here in Mission Control confirming that the altitude of the HTB-3 is 200 kilometers. Currently flying about 5,300 meters per second. Everybody's reporting that the vehicle's under good control and everything is looking right down the middle. Just an incredibly cloudy day there at the Tanagashima Space Center. There was some rain in the area at the moment of liftoff, a very low cloud deck. As you saw, uh, the vehicle disappeared into the clouds pretty quickly right after liftoff. You can see there's some uh, rain showers there on the far right-hand side. Seven minutes and 20 seconds into the flight, everything is still looking uh, pretty good. Now eight minutes into the flight. The second stage is still burning. It's eight minutes after liftoff. The second stage engine combustion attitude control projectly are all normal. Altitude is about 255 kilometers. The velocity is about 5.67 kilometers per second. So the HTB-3 continuing to gain altitude now at 255 kilometers. It's moved to about 5.67 kilometers per second. At 5.67 kilometers per second, about three and a half miles per second. The orbital speed's uh, five miles per second. That's what the station travels at, just an incredible speed. It's roughly 17,500 miles per hour. Nine minutes, 20 seconds into the flight. Again, the second stage continuing to burn. This will continue up until the 14 minute, 20 second point in the flight. It'll shut down, and then uh, separation between HTV-3 and its second stage will occur 
right at 15 minutes and 11 seconds. So we will continue to monitor the flight of this cargo carrier now headed toward the International Space Station. Everything is working right down the line. It's 10 minutes after liftoff. ロケットは順調に飛行しています。The flight is progressing very smoothly. The launch vehicle is out of the tracking range of the Tanegashima stations and Uchinoura station, and Ogasawara and Guam stations are now tracking it. Approaching the 11 minute mark of the flight. As you heard our counterparts in Japan confirm, it is uh, currently out of the range of the Tanegashima Tracking Center. It's being tracked by some ground stations now as it heads uh, over the Pacific Ocean. The second stage engine combustion attitude control and flight trajectory are all normal. The flight goes very smoothly. Current altitude is about 287 kilometers. Velocity is about 6.45 kilometers per second. So the rocket now 287 kilometers, that's uh, 178 miles. It is currently moving at 6.4 kilometers per second, or about 4 miles per second. Continuing to speed up as it uh, heads down toward the uh, southeast. The Ogasawa station finished tracking, and the Guam station is now tracking the launch vehicle. 12 minutes, 15 seconds into the flight, everything looking good. We are standing by for that 14 minute and 20 second mark. That is when the second stage will cut off. And soon after that, the HTV-3 cargo carrier itself will separate from that second stage at 15 minutes, 11 seconds. And then it will be in its preliminary orbit which again is 200 by 300 kilometers, that is 124 miles by 186 miles. Official launch time tonight was as planned, 9.06 and 18 seconds. The International Space Station was 255 statute miles over the South Pacific Ocean, just off the coast of Chile. It's a live look inside the Scuba Space Center. They are just outside of Tokyo. That is the home of the Japan Aerospace Exploration Agency. They're taking a look at their cargo vehicle as it continues to head into space 13 minutes and 22 seconds into the flight. Second stage cutoff confirmed. The launch vehicle is in coast flight.
Now 14 minutes and 32 seconds into the flight, we're standing by. The vehicle is currently coasting. We'll get confirmation here shortly that the HTV-3 has separated from uh, the second stage itself. HTV-3, Bundi. HTV-3 separation. HTV-3 has separated 15 minutes and five seconds into the flight. The team there in Japan celebrating the HTV-3 in its preliminary orbit. Once again, 200 by 300 kilometers. Here's a live look at it as it uh, separates and continues on its orbit. JAXA is waiting for its arrival. Uh, the team is confirming that uh, HCB-3 did separate cleanly. So the whole liftoff and flight into space for this third cargo carrier is part of the HTV series. Uh, when as expected, right down the line, everything green. 